Hello, hello, hello. Hello, this is the headphoneaddict.com and today I'm doing an unboxing of uh, Exonar Essence 1 USB duck and headphone amplifier. Uh, just want to say a little thing about me doing all of these unboxings. Uh, I purchased this new, but that's besides the point. Um, the reason that I've done a ton of unboxings lately is that you might be aware that most of the things that I get I purchase second hand. And lately the stuff that I've been wanting to try has been uh, just popping up all over the place and so uh, there has been a ton of unboxings and not so many reviews as I've got a um, lot of new gear coming in and uh, it's quite difficult to se settle down on one thing and listen to that while you got other stuff you want to listen to as well so the reviews will come so uh, I'm sorry about all the unboxings and well the reviews will come so to this thing well this is the uh, Asus Exonar Essence 1 USB DAC and headphone amplifier it's the world's first a time symmetrical upsampling and this has been created on the basis of uh, Asus Exonar Essence ST and SDX which were uh, a um, sound card with a, a digital to analog converter and a headphone uh, pre, uh, headphone uh, amplifier so they Asus basically uh, looked at all the threads at HeadFi and in the audio file community and um, based on that data they created this thing so I've been quite anxious to uh, look into this uh, thing uh, I've not seen a lot of reviews on this, I've not seen a lot of publicity around this thing, uh, which I think is a shame, because my belief is that even though this is pretty cheap, uh, compared to a lot of the other uh, gear that audio files uh, get, uh, it's created by ASUS, and ASUS is a huge company and they have tons of in-house engineers. Uh, they have uh, the uh, advantage of economies of scale. Uh, they ha probably have great purchasing agreements with their suppliers. So they are probably one of the companies that are able to create something uh, really good at an affordable price. So, well, that's enough chattering. So let's get into this thing. Um, first, let me just show you the box. It's quite big and it has a lot of data back here as you can see. Uh, it's it's really heavy as well, I'm shaking actually. So uh, let me just read a little bit here. I have to reposition myself. Audio performance, output signal to noise ratio, 120 decibels, output total harmonic distortion plus noise at 1 kilohertz at minus 3 decibel A weighted, minus 110 decibels. So a ton of jargon, it has a balanced output and head uh, unbalanced output, so it's a preamplifier for both balanced and unbalanced stuff. It has a headphone output, which is quite powerful as well. Uh, and it also has uh, interchangeable op amps, which is quite interesting, actually. Because what that means is that you can basically take this thing and... You can basically take this thing and change the op amp. So ASUS actually want you to go inside this thing to switch the op amps and you will get other types of signatures as well. I believe that I believe that what the okay so I basically could afford it but not open it man versus box what the beep what the hell it says push for fuck's sake oh my god 
Okay, let's get into the steve. <laughs> okay, I basically have to set it like this. Oh my goodness. And there it is. What the hell? Let me just check out what this thing is. Okay, it was a receipt for me. And a very nice presentation. Exonar Essence 1 USB DAC and headphone amplifier. I also have the uh, Grace Design M903, which is much more expensive, so it's going to be pretty exciting to check out this. And I also have the sound card, which this was based on. So, yeah, some really nice velvet material right here. And you have some more boxes, probably with power supplies and stuff like that. Let me just... Holy shit, this thing is heavy. Oh my god. Let me just uh, take away the box here for a minute. Because this thing is... This thing is mighty damn fine, baby. Basically, don't want to destroy anything because in case I don't like this thing, I'm going to use the money back guarantee. It's pretty damn heavy. So here you get some. Um, what does it say? It's just a sticker, basically, and uh, probably some drivers and uh, manual. I'll check that a little bit later. My account has actually been upgraded now, so I have the opportunity of uh, making long videos. So that's great, yeah? Let's see here. Probably a... Yeah, it's the power cord. So that's the power cord. Then we have the my godness that's what you get for buying second hand they are usually already being opened and so you have to learn the tools of the trade so you have an adapter which you've probably seen a gazillion times before so adapter power cord uh, American power cord, won't be needing that, and a USB cable which is pretty basic. Okay, so that's that, and to the device. Wow, this thing is heavy, 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 heavy. It's, it's metal and it's actually pretty heavy to be honest. These were plastic and feels a bit cheap to be honest these are plastic as well which they uh, didn't make these in plastic and so here you've got the front panel uh, coaxial toslink usb has a bit perfect 192 176 96 and the up sampling as well and uh, you can also set the volumes for the outputs individually as you can see here you have balanced uh, unbalanced output balanced outputs, toss link in, coaxial in, and USB. So that's that really. So I'm going to set this thing up and uh, I'm really excited to try it. Wow, this thing looks hefty nice. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to do a review and maybe also a comparison against uh, the Grace Design M903 which is about five times the price of this so that will be exciting maybe i'll also uh, screw it open well we forgot about this thing though weird that uh, it didn't come with uh, more off amps i was actually expecting that having read around so that's a manual and some 
audio precision report some quality control and graphs and good reading material for the toilet and some drivers so well yeah don't think there was anything else really I actually am quite disappointed that it didn't come with more op amps so that's a uh, that's a disappointment well yeah thank you for watching I'm going to do uh, more videos on this thing as I said and sorry about the unstructured manner in which I did this video uh, hope you subscribe and uh, comment if you liked it okay thank you goodbye Hi guys, it's the headphone addict.com again. I uh, just wanted to show you guys what I've um, been doing. Uh, here you can see I've uh, connected a laptop to the new uh, Asus Exonor Essence 1 and I'm also using it as, as a preamplifier to the Wu Audio WA6SE. Uh, the, uh, the Wu Audio has two inputs so I'm also able to feed it both through the uh, Exonor Essence and the uh, Grace Design M903. So now I've got two computers so I can set it up so that both computers are playing the same song feeding uh, the DAX, this and the M903 bit perfect and send it to the Wu. So now I can really get into the stuff of comparing and um, I've only listened to the uh, Exonar Essence one with the Sennheiser HD 650s but so far it has a lot of power and I'm quite impressed so hang on for the review thank you for watching bye